So today I'm going to show you how to use this R&D instrument paint thickness checker. This part here was repainted because it was faded into the door and I know this whole fender was repainted. So let's try this. So this is 4.95 and this one, see 5.4. That's because it was repainted. So the R&D probe is designed to non-destructively measure the thickness of coating and paint on metals. This is a very important when measuring on a car as it's going to reveal to us which body parts were replaced with cheaper non-galvanized ones when you're buying a vehicle. And this is not going to register because this is fiberglass. See that? This is a ET330 R&D instruments paint checker. The end probe works on the eddy current principle and should be used for detecting the insulating coating's thickness, such as paint, anodizing, ceramics, or the aluminum, copper, or brass substrates. In the package, you're going to get two batteries, carrying case, and two substrates and five standard foils for multi-point calibration. A very small, convenient plastic operates on two AAA batteries. Um, so I'm going to show you what this is used for. So if you own a garage, shop, uh, your mechanic or you want to buy a used car maybe your sports car um, and you don't want to get ripped off and you don't know if there's been any body work if there's been an accident or not getting a tool like this is actually going to save you some money potentially so the way this works is it measures the thickness of paint all right so when you get this turn it on and then basically place it in the air away from any metals for about five seconds for the system to initialize what it does is it checks the thickness of the coating. So what you want to do is you want to compare different body panels that are metal, aluminum, copper, zinc alloy, ceramic, things of that nature, and you want to compare the units. So if they're a match up, that means that it's probably factory paint. If they don't match up, then there's probably been repainted. Also, if there's any fiberglass or any um, bondo or anything like that, you're also going to notice because it's not going to register on the meter. Example. This is polyurethane. See, nothing registers. This, I think this is a metal. You see that? So this one, let's change this to mills. Let's do this again. There's two modes here, single and multiple. So we're gonna set this on continuous with single. We're gonna let this calibrate and over here you can see coding. FE. FE stands for ferrous. Okay, so let's do this again. And you can see it's 4.33 mil. All right, now we're gonna go over here. Well, I know that this door was not repainted, it's factory. So very close, okay? There's plus or minus 2% accuracy. Now I know that this part here was repainted because it was fitted into the door and I know this whole fender was repainted. So let's try this. So this is 4.95 and this one, see 5.4, that's because it was repainted, right? Again, 4.94, there's a little probably paint over the old paint and then this one should be less, 4.3 because this is the original. Now let's check this out, see 4.23 means it's original, uh, I think this is original too. 0.65. Uh, let's try this fender here. Also, oh, this is less. Oh, 4.12. Maybe the clear coat's off a little. Also, this is great for when you're detailing cars. Uh, maybe it's, you test this and it's not the same thickness, so you want to apply a little more clear. 4.58, and then this should be thicker because this was also new. 5.27, 5.4, and this is not going to register because this is fiberglass. See that? Now, let's test this on this car. Now, this entire vehicle is obviously factory, so let's see what the thickness is on the Toyota. 8. Let's try the hood. Should be higher because this is what people see. See, 4.8, very, very close. Let's try the, 
the roof. 4.44. This has got a, obviously a pretty good factory finish by the machine. Whereas this one's obviously repainted. And again, this should be thicker. 5.6. And again, the original tree paint thickness, eh, 4.2, 4.3. So very useful little tool, very inexpensive. Definitely will save you and get ripped off if you're buying cars at least two a year uh, for reselling purposes. So thanks for watching and I hope this has been educational.